Hello and welcome to A Bug's Life, written, narrated and created by Miss Renu. This story is called Butterflies. This story is dedicated to all the tiny living things which are miracles of life. It's a bug's world, a world of insects. Do you know these creepy crawly bugs are very important for the world and for us humans? Without these cute little critters, life on earth would end. All the pollination that creates the flowers, the trees, the vegetables and the plants where we get our food from is because of these little bugs. Insects are called primary and secondary decomposers. Can you say pollination? Can you say decomposers? Let me tell you a story of why butterflies are so important to nature. In actual fact, Belinda the butterfly is going to tell us this story. Belinda is a mommy butterfly. She is ready to lay her eggs. But Belinda has been flying all over looking for some fresh green leaves to lay her eggs. However, humans have cut down all the trees and Belinda cannot find any leaves for a home for her eggs. Can you hear Belinda? She is feeling so sad. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Belinda flew and flew and she flew practically all around the world. She was getting super tired and felt that this world tour would never end. How is she going to find some fresh green leaves to lay her eggs? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> Suddenly Belinda landed in the Amazon forest. Wow! So many trees? Looks like these humans have not found this paradise, said Belinda exhausted from a world tour. I just do not understand why these humans have to cut down trees. Belinda found some fresh green leaves and began to lay her eggs. She laid so many eggs it was amazing. They were circular in shape, oval in shape and some of them were like cylinders. She was thrilled. Now she knew her babies would hatch and they would be safe. She said goodbye to them and wished them the best of luck as she flew away to go back home. Can you hear Belinda saying goodbye to her little eggs? Bye bye. Did you know that butterfly eggs normally stick to a plant which is the leaf with a very special fluid like a glue? That's right, this glue will hold the eggs to the leaf in such a way that these eggs will not slip off. Isn't that fascinating? Anyway, Belinda's eggs were nice and comfortable. Mr. Sun came out too and decided to keep them warm. The eggs stayed under the sun for about four days after they were laid. Now the eggs began to hatch and tiny little lava started appearing. Small wriggly squiggly little lava. These little lava are called caterpillars. Now be sure not to touch them when you see them. Did you know most caterpillars are covered in hair like bristles called CT? Can you say CT? These little guys, these caterpillars, were super hungry and in no time started to eat the green leaves around them. They munched and they munched. Can you hear this little one? Let's call him Bob. Hello Bob, how are you? You seem to be super hungry. Just listen to Bob. The more Bob ate, the more he wriggled, and the more he got hungry, and the more he ate. Do you know that caterpillars don't actually have teeth like those found in animals like cats and dogs? But they do have mouth parts that they use for chewing. These mouth parts are called mandibles, and they have two of them, which they use like a pair of shears to cut away at leaves. In other words, they're like a pair of scissors.
The caterpillar's setup makes biting through the surface of leaves impossible, so they munch on the sides of the leaves. And this is why you'll always see caterpillars eating through the sides of leaves. Look at his mandibles. Can you say mandibles? Anyway, Bob the caterpillar ate and ate, and he ate and he ate, and he became larger and larger and fatter and fatter. He started growing a small outer case covering around his body. Now it was time to make his little bedroom so he could snuggle and take this long nap. And that is exactly what happened. Bob turned into a pupa and off he went into a deep sleep. Can you hear him snoring? <coughs> He slept for about 21 days. That's right, that's a long time to sleep. And he slept and he slept and he snored and he snored. And then guess what? Yes, he was now getting ready to break out of the pupa. Can you see him wriggling? And that is exactly what happened. A beautiful butterfly emerged from the pupa. My gosh, what a beautiful world. Bob the butterfly looked around and could not believe that he had been sleeping in the pupa. But he was so hungry again. He needed to get something sweet to eat. So Bob flew around and found a beautiful flower filled with sweet nectar. And he started to drink. Do you know that butterflies have straws in their mouths called proboscis and this is what they use to drink nectar from the flower? Using this long sipping straw, these butterflies will drink up all the nectar they need. Can you say proboscis? Did you know butterflies use their feet to taste the flowers? Can you imagine using your feet to taste food? Yes, these butterflies also pick up all the little pollen powder from the flowers with their feet. The pollen gets on their wings and feet. Can you see the little fella covered in pollen? Now when Bob wanders off to drink more nectar from another flower, the pollen he has on its body will drop along the way and will also transfer pollen to another flower. Guess what happens then? Well, that flower will produce more flowers or vegetables. And this is how flowers and vegetables grow and we get our food. And this is called pollination. Can you say pollination? So going back to the beginning of the story, do you remember Belinda the butterfly? Well, Belinda wants us to stop cutting down trees because she will have no place to lay her eggs. If there are no eggs, there can be no butterflies and this means no more flowers, no more fruits and no more vegetables. Can you imagine a world without butterflies? I can't. As Robert Frost said, butterflies are flowers that fly and all but sing. Are you ready for some fun facts? Let's begin. Did you know there are more than 24,000 species of butterflies in the world? The life cycle of a butterfly has four stages. The eggs, the larva, the pupa and the butterfly. The glue that holds the eggs to the leaves is called CT. Most caterpillars have tiny little hairs on their bodies. The jaws of the caterpillar is called mandibles. Caterpillars love to eat from the sides of leaves. Butterflies drink nectar from the flowers using a straw-like sipper called proboscis. Butterflies taste nectar with their feet. They carry pollen on their wings, body and feet. Pollination is what helps flowers, plants and fruits grow. With insects, this world would not have food. And butterflies have two hearts. I hope you enjoyed this story. Remember, save the insects and we'll save the world. See you the next one. Music